Temperatures drop. Of course, fire officials warn of the dangers of space heaters. A family of six was forced from their home the day after Christmas after a space heater sparked a fire. Miranda Thomas is here with some important reminders for you tonight, Miranda. That's right. The temperatures are getting lower and firefighters are urging you to check your fire alarms tonight. Heading into the new year, fire officials say they're getting ready for their busiest couple of months. But there are some things you can do now to lower your risk. Winter, the most dangerous season for fires. So all your heating appliances in your own. Uh, That's your according home, to Kurt uh, Monty, a spokesperson for, for the Baton Rouge place. Fire Department. Every year we see uh, people uh, not necessarily misusing the appliance, but not using them safely, uh, not keeping them away from things that could cause fires in their home. This week alone, there have been several house fires, mostly accidental or electrical. Officials say this house fire was sparked by a space heater too close to a couch, leaving six people displaced. Couches, furnishings, drapes, carpets, linens, anything that will catch fire uh, near that space heater within three feet, uh, you need to keep it away uh, from those items. According to the National Fire Protection Association, more than 80% of home heating fire deaths involve stationary or portable space heaters. And half of the fires caused by heating equipment happen in December, January, and February. So now is a good time for you to test your smoke alarms and make sure they are working properly and take the necessary steps to stay safe in your home. Sound that alarm off, let your children hear it and know what that alarm is, know what to do when that alarm goes off, you should have an escape plan and a meeting place for your family outside. Now, just taking those precautions or following the manufacturer's recommendations on electrical equipment can help keep you and your family safe. Fire investigators have been busy. They're still working to figure out the cause of this fire on Longfellow Drive. We'll get that video up for you in just a second. We're told by fire officials.